Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another fabulous beauty video. In this video, I am going to be trying on the Sephora VIB sale haul products. So I did two major haul videos, massive epic Sephora VIB sale haul like I always do you guys. If you miss them, check them out. I'll link them up here and down in the description box. I'm going to be putting to the test or trying on many as many products as I possibly can fit into one video in this trying on Sephora sale haul products video. So stay tuned if you want to see how things worked out for me. For me. Also, I'm going to give you some story time, spill some, some tea, tell you a funny story or two, and talk to you about some other fun topics. So stay tuned. So I pulled you guys as close as I possibly could. Keep in mind, I haven't had sleep straight for, I would say, four days or five days. We've been sick, as you guys know, for like two months. And then uh, there's a new bug going around. I just got that one, which is much milder than what we had before. And also, we didn't get to sleep because my little boy had his birthday. So we had to do a lot, a lot of work for that. So... I haven't slept at all, so I have like major dark circles. So I'm gonna start with my primer, my pore filler, and my dark circle corrector. There's something I wanna share with you guys and a few other things I just wanna sort of like, you know, have a conversation with you guys um, and try to balance that with the descriptions and thoughts of the products at the same time. So hopefully I can do both. I'm gonna start with my go-to primer, Tatcha Silk Canvas Liquid Primer. This is an item I bought from the Sephora VIB sale. As you can see, the seal, I just broke the seal. This is my, my go-to primer, my number one primer, my top drawer primer, however you wanna call it. This was obviously a restock item for me. So I usually take it on my fingertip and I just kind of put it on and just you know, apply it to my face. This one is so light. The skincare in this primer, it really feels like you're doing your skin a favor when it goes on the skin. Stays so light on the skin, provides such a beautiful blank canvas. Seems to kind of blur a little bit too. Um, it acts like a barrier between your skin and the makeup. So it's to me, the perfect primer. So there it is. And then I have this Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, which is my pore filler, as I like to call it. This is a pore filling primer that I usually like to just apply to my large pore areas right here in this T-zone. I don't put it all over my face, just right here in these areas and where the smile lines are, right over there. So that's about all I do. I fill my small lines with it and then I bring it over here just a little bit towards the cheeks where the large pores are, the nose is another place, crow's feet, you know, just over the those little bitty areas. So here is my color corrector. This is Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish color corrector. I have it in the shade medium. It's actually number two. Is it number two? Yeah, number two is my shade. I don't want to go too red, you guys. I mean, although I'm tan skinned, you really don't have to use that the red one. It's just a little too much, in my opinion. I just gouged it with my nail. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I this was a restock item. I, I got it on the Sephora VIB sale. I had completely run out of it like a month before the VIB sales. So I had to use my Becca one, which is also really nice, but I was like, ah, oh, I want my Charlotte Tilbury one back, um, you know. So yeah, this is like my go-to, go-to, go-to color corrector, you guys. This is so lightweight and it covers so much. Did you see that? I mean, so well. I'm gonna actually use my my Christian Louboutin mirror, it's a little bigger. The perfect color corrected, just covers the dark circles right up and brightens my under eyes. The salmon color, color corrects. Okay guys, now I'm going to 
put foundation on so I got this hourglass ambient soft glow foundation I have it in the shade number 11 pump a little bit of it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna test this Sephora foundation brush this is number 56 I told you guys about this brush when I hauled it on my uh, VIB sale haul so let me put the foundation on so I have my my Becca under eye color corrector now and after the color corrector I like to go in with the foundation so I'm going to try to I have a funny story to share with you guys which I don't know if you will find funny I find it funny it's a funny story you guys uh, I'm gonna try to balance story time with with my previews of the products here and uh, my thoughts of the products I'll try to balance it anyway I uh, I thought about not sharing. I didn't want to share this this stuff with you guys. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff around this same thing. I, I don't want to give too much away quite yet. A lot happened, let's just say, around the same same uh, same thing. Um, but I only want to highlight this incident because it's super hilarious. I think it's funny. I mean, this is what happens. There are consequences to when you do shady things, when you do bad things, you have consequences. And this is one of those classic consequences, you know, things where karma comes to bite you. You know, this is when the universe kind of punishes you for being awful to people, right? Kind of like funny story. I think it's hilarious. I think this story is super hilarious in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if you guys will find it funny. I think it's funny because it happened to me um, you know somebody did something bad to me and uh, got uh, got exposed pretty much for it which is fun I think it's funny so when I first started my channel which was you know a couple of years ago and some change this was early days I, when I had like barely like 2,000 subscribers I was reviewing all this amazing stuff like the Christian Louboutin you know Louboutin World Collection and all this stuff and this creator, this is a this is a story about a uh, about creator stuff, creator drama. I guess I don't want to go too much into it, which is why I'm only, you know, lots a lot has happened to me, you know, involving creators. But I'm only gonna share this one story because this one is funny. So I don't want to go too much into the the whole stories because I don't want this to be known as like the drama channel. You know what I mean, you guys. This is more of my attempt to kind of create story time and kind of co have conversation with you guys and entertain you at the same time, you know what I mean? And I also think that as subscribers, as viewers, you are our audience, right? Us, us the creators. You are our, our audience. And I think you have a right to know. I think you have a right to know what type of people that, that you are watching. Like, you know, who are you watching? You know what I mean? It's important. To, to I assume my, my viewers to my my subscribers and you have a right to know some of these things and especially if it's hilarious you should know about it but anyway so I finally decided to actually share this story with you guys by the way let me pause there do you see this foundation you guys oh my god this is like a full coverage like I don't know if these lights are really going to do justice like when I look in the mirror it looks a lot prettier than it does in the viewfinder so I don't know I mean I don't know if you will get really the idea like how beautiful this is it's not glowy it's not dewy but it's kind of has a sheen to it and it's also not super matte or anything so it's like a satin matte but with a sheen that makes sense right this is a really beautiful 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 um, foundation by the way Always remember to bring the foundation to your ears and down the neck into your onto your neck and the decollete uh, like that. I always do that. I don't know. It's just how to have it. So this is the concealer that I want to show you guys today. This is one I of course purchased during the Sephora VIB sale haul. This is a beautiful concealer. This is the Dior Backstage Concealer. I'm in the shade 3W, which is one shade lighter than my normal foundation shade in the same line backstage line which is um, 4W which is what you want you want concealer to be one shade lighter but not too light also not too dark also not the exact same color as your foundation right just one shade not two shades lighter one shade lighter 
Okay, so this has this beautiful brush applicator, you guys. At first, I when I saw it, I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. But when I actually used it, I've used this a couple times now. It's so good, so good. So I tend to put concealer in this fashion right in this areas that I'm putting right now. Um, so I tend to put a little bit on my lid because I use concealer as basically primer for my eyelids. And then I put it on my nose like that down the middle um, and then of course save on the other side there and then here's smile lines and then corners of my mouth like that so and I do any kind of spot concealing I don't really see any spots that I want to cover oh, there's a little bit of a friend coming here you know it's that time of the month I think and now I'm gonna take a, a wet beauty blender or damp damp beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this out right underneath my eyes can you guys see very well I don't know if I brought you close enough hopefully close enough so it's already really brightening up my under eyes do you see that um so I'm gonna just go ahead and blend it out I'm gonna tell you continue the story now so where did I start yeah so in the early days of my channel this creator uh, found my channel this other creator she found me and she was commenting on my videos and all this stuff and uh, she, you know, um, you know, just being nice or whatever. And I'm like, oh, you know, that's nice, you know, and I asked as a nice thing to do back, um, I would go over to her channel and, you know, also say nice things about her videos, which, you know, something I did like to show support. Um, but I'm going to, now here's the part where I'm going to skip a lot. Let's just say a whole bunch of different things happened that I noticed. People were saying stuff to me. I heard from other creators. I heard from other uh, subscribers. Some other things happened. You know, some, some things, let's just say, that made me realize something is terribly not right with this channel, this creator's channel. I stopped watching. It wasn't actually I who, you know, found her channel, she found mine. I was only doing that as a kind of a, you know, return uh, of, of what you call, like, return the niceness, right? Because uh, I'm, I'm nice like that, you guys. Any, and, uh, but I, I stopped doing that when I, when I heard some things. And some things happened, let's just say. Now, my community, my beautiful community, you guys are... Just such lovely people. That's why I actually call you guys my lovely people. Because my subscribers and my viewers are truly the loveliest people. You guys are so nice, so amazing. I had not, like to that point, gotten one bad comment on my videos. Like, I had never heard, you know, when I first started my YouTube channel, or when I was first thinking about starting my YouTube channel, I was, you know, a little taken aback to hear from you know, creators I was watching at the time, like, you know, big creators to little creators. I, I heard many of them say, oh, you know, I'm getting all these nasty comments and people are being mean. And I'm like, oh, that's awful. I don't want to have to bring that to my life, you know, in that into my life. So that was one of the things that kind of kept me, kept me from doing it. By the way, you guys, I needed herbal tea because I'm still sick. I keep getting bugs, bug after bug after bug. My little babies keep bringing bugs home. Let me pause there and actually put my under eye brightener on. So, this concealer, you guys, you don't have to set. It, it dries down to a perfect finish. It uh, doesn't need setting. It sets on its own and it does not crease, not a not even a little bit. Doesn't settle into fine lines. It is not cakey. It's very lightweight and it's still very good coverage, medium to full coverage. I would say it depends on how much you put on. Absolutely beautiful concealer. You don't need setting. Like I said, if you don't feel like you want to set, don't set. So I like to use under eye brightening powders again because of my dark circle problem. Um, I use a color corrector and then I also brighten, use brightening powders. I used to love the Becca, uh, the white powder, the under eye brightening powder. 
but that's no longer available. Becca went out of business, as you guys know. And then I found by Terry Hyaluronic uh, Hydra Powder in the in the white shade, which is also really nice. That was like my replacement for the Becca powder. But, you know, I mean, it was okay. And then there, Tom Ford has a really nice pow powder, the translucent one, zero one translucent. That got discontinued. So then I saw these during the Sephora VIB sale. These are the latest two brightening powders from Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powders. One is like totally white and the other one is kind of yellowish, kind of like a banana powder. Now I am like right in the middle, I have tan skin. So a lot of the times I can, you know, get away with applying medium skin stuff and dark skin stuff. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I can actually use the, um, the white powder to brighten my under eyes. And this one too, that's intended to, for darker skin, I can also use. So I'm, I use both and I'll tell you how I use both. So I first used the, the light one, the, the, the white one I should say rather. That's the one I used for brightening right under my, underneath my eyes and to set my concealer, although this concealer does not need setting. But I still love that extra brighten, brightening I get from a brightening powder. So I put it right underneath my eye right here. So here we are. Okay, so did you see how much it brightened my under eyes? It's like super bright right now. And then I take this one, which is intended for darker skin tones. I take that and I use that right in my T-zone, like the nose, right here under the eye socket, down the fine uh, smile lines, right in the mid middle of my face, where high points where I wanna lighten up a little bit and brighten up a little bit. So that's how I use, where I put my highlighter, you know what I mean? On the cheekbones. So that's how I use that. So these powders are beautiful. They're finely milled and they do an amazing job. I know I look like the Pillsbury face right now, all pasty, but it's all gonna come together. Just be patient. All right, so where did I stop? My subscribers and, you know, I had never got a bad comment, like bad as in any kind of, you know, remotely negative comment until I stopped go watching this person's this creator's channel as a as a return of of niceness I don't I guess I, I should say I started to notice a couple of mean comments which is was very odd it I only got noticed because it was very uncharacteristic of my channel to receive that kind of negative comment because you guys I'm always really like nice to you all and I, 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 I kind of put out that, that, you know, good vibes. And when you put out good vibes, you attract really nice people. That's why I think my channel attracts the nicest of people because of what I put out, the vibe I put out, my aura, right? I never get like mean, nasty people watching my channel. Because of that reason, this really stood out. This was like the first time I had ever gotten anything negative. And to, th to this day still, to this day still, Reno, you know, that was the only time. So a couple of mean comments, and these were like the kind of comments that made me raise an eyebrow because let's just say I noticed some things about these comments that made me kind of link it right back to this person because, you know, if you're smart, you guys, you can put two and together. It, it's very easy, you know, it's not that hard for, for you if you actually are smart. And I just had this like suspicion and I kind of did a couple of things in my video, you know, there are things that you can do to find out who this, that is. And it like confirmed me, right? Confirmed my, my suspicion. But I just didn't do anything about it. I mean, what are you gonna do about it? But then time went on and I, you know, I started to notice li little things like products that I talk about would suddenly show up on that channel. How do I know my subscribers will would DM me and tell me, hey, you know, so and so seem to talk, you know, about this product that you talk, but just talked about. You know, my my subscriber were, was were noticing this too, because people aren't stupid, you guys. You know what I mean? So you know, you would you would, you would notice things like you know, certain products that I talk about would like show up and stuff. But, but you know, I just I'm like, who cares? I didn't care. So time went on and I really completely forgot about it. And I just, you know, didn't even think twice about it. 
because I have a very busy life and I do not have time for pettiness and I do certainly not want to give in to that kind of, you know, sort of second class behavior and, you know, just childish stuff. So I didn't think twice about it until the other day I was looking at my video analytics and I go over to this one place where um, I had put the people that made the couple of inappropriate comments, you know, where they've been blocked. You know, I had, you know, these couple of comments, not a couple of, you know, three or so comments. And I look at it. At first, these were from people with different names, right? The different thumbnails and thumbnail pictures and names of the channel. And suddenly, YouTube had done something hilarious. YouTube had gone and revealed who that was, who those so-called people were. It was one person, you guys. So what YouTube did was they're exposing people who are creating bogus accounts to leave mean comments by basically exposing them. So those two Think the people that I thought were people, which I had a suspicion weren't people, it was just one person. Now the thumbnails were the thumbnail of this creator. Except these two say, it's the same thumbnail, except it says text blah blah blah, 80 blah blah blah, something something. That just means it was a bogus channel. So now YouTube is doing this awesome thing where it's exposing people who are creating bogus channels to leave mean comments. I did not know this. And I saw that I'm like, my God, that's hilarious. I hadn't even looked in the place where I only, that was the only two things or three things, I forget how many, I had ever blocked on my channel because I don't block people because my people don't say out, out of line stuff. Some creators might consider somebody having a difference of opinion a bad comment. I don't think that's a bad comment. That's an amazing comment. I want to know your thoughts, like your true thoughts, right? If you say, oh, I don't agree with your opinion on such and such, sure, that's amazing, that's great. You know what? Not everybody has the same nose. I welcome that. Maybe some creators with low self-esteem might think that is a bad comment. I love it. That means you guys are listening. That means you guys are enjoying. That means you guys are having a dialogue with me, right? So no, I have never had bad comments. So the only two people or the same person that I had ever blocked was this, this thing. So now it's showing the same thumbnail for all of them, the, the old two or three of them. It, it has this creator's thumbnail and, and her channel. And then now it's the same thumbnail for the two that's blocked. Yeah, so, so it's a channel that some of my, my viewers do watch. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, you know, my subscribers, my viewers don't deserve that. And how little do, you know, how much trust these, 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 subs, these subscribers and viewers must, must put in these type of people in their opinions, right? And this is what these type of, you know, people are like, and it's terrible, you guys. And I just, I think it's funny and terrible at the same time. So I thought it was a really funny story to share with you guys, which is hilarious. Cause like, you think that you, you create bogus account to say something cause you're feeling jealous or whatever that you're feeling. And then you get exposed by YouTube. I think it's funny. I think that's perfect karma, honestly. And if I wanted to be a bad person or mean person, I could expose this person by taking a simple screenshot. I could even message this person and ask, hey, why, why are you doing this? But it doesn't matter to me. But it does matter in one way. I think that you guys, as our viewers, our audience, deserve to know that you know, who you are watching, who, who you are trusting the opinions of. And, um, you know, when you can't trust a person with, with, the, with their integrity and character, you really can't trust many of what they're trying to promote either. You know what I mean? That is the entertaining part of this story time. I have some other fun stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Are you watching any shows? I mean, 
I am watching some, some shows. I'll tell you guys about it here in one second. I'm going to go ahead and fill my eyebrows real quickly. So I am watching right now this uh, show called White Lotus with my, my husband. It's this like really kind of fun show actually. It exposes people's idiosyncrasies and their, you know, pettiness and their like whatever, you know, people are feeling, um, it, that kind of stuff, like the people's inner thoughts and inner insecurities, that kind of stuff. It's really kind of, you know, a show that makes you think, right? It's called White Lotus and it's on HBO, I think. So I watched the first series, so it's kind of like the series where they have seasons. Um, and the first season was set in Hawaii, I believe. Was it Hawaii? Yeah, I think Hawaii. So it's actually like people vacationing. So it's all about people vacationing and how that's insecurities and all these things are coming out while they're on vacation. So the first series was really good. Um, season was really good that we wa decided to watch the second one. And this one is set in Italy, or actually Sicily, not Italy. I mean, Sicily is in Italy, but Sicilians like to call themselves Sicilians, right? Am I right? My, my Sicilian friends. So anyway, um, yeah, it's really, really like really makes you stop and think you guys really an entertaining show. What are you guys watching? Leave me a comment down in the, in the comment section. What do you have any suggestions for good shows? We love to watch this show Outlander, me and my husband. You guys know Outlander, right? How many of you watch Outlander? Um, right now we're waiting for season, is it seven to come out? God, it feels like an eternity, you guys. COVID kind of put the show behind. So we were like so impatiently waiting. I think it's coming out in February next year. Um, but until then, we're trying to find other shows to keep us busy. You know, we keep us relaxing at nighttime when we want to like cuddle on the couch and have a relaxing night together. I'm going to try out the two newest Tom Ford eye quads. These are the creme formula. You know, I... Uh, I've talked to you guys about this before. I've reviewed these, this formula before on my channel. The, the first three creme formula I reviewed, I did a dedicated review, review. I will link it up there and down in the description box. So this is the latest two quads to Tom Ford. Uh, Velours Khaki. And this one is a Violet Satin. So I think I'm going to try the Violet Satin first. Uh, I'm going to do one eye with violet satin and the other eye with the other one. Do I? Or should I just try one quad tonight? Do I want it to keep it cohesive? Let me try with violet. Start with violet satin. Here you go. So this is this doesn't look like much in the pants. Oh my god, you guys. This is the creamiest, silkiest, the, the most wet looking beautifulness that there is. And this is like foundation for the eyes. And it, if you have mature eyelids, this is the way to go. And even if you don't have mature eyelids, this is the way to go. I really, really love, 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 love it. Um, so let me start with the color right here. Right here. <clears throat> I'm going to use that as a transition shade on my lid here. I mean on my crease here. Can you guys see? Oh my God, that's like butter. That's just like butter. Let me show you some swatches, you guys. So these are the swatches of Violet Satin. I'm gonna take a bit of a dense packed brush, packing brush, and I'm gonna use this dark plummy shade that's so wet looking, it looks wet. It looks wet, okay? It looks creamy and kind of leather, leather-like look it has. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Natasha Denona's uh, cream to powder formula, but this is way even more better. Um, this blends so much better than that. So I'm going to put that right in the outer corner, right? That kind of in an angle. As you can see, I'm bringing it on an angle to the side there. And then kind of in a V shape. I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. So what are you guys watching? You guys tell me. Uh, I would love to love to know what you're watching. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this stunning, st 
stunning, stunning, stunning topper shade. It's actually not a topper, it's like this, again, creme formula, off the topper shade kind of deal. Uh, that Tom Ford's, you know, famous topper shade. Sonia G Blender Pro. Um, is it Blender Pro? Yeah, I love this thing, you guys. This is the best one to deposit like shimmery shades on the eyelid it's like the finger only like you can get into corners with it um unlike the finger so now i'm gonna use this oh my god do you see that oh my god oh my god oh my god it's like wet you guys it's it's as if i wet this shade it looks wet it looks like i wet the brush it's going on so beautifully do you see this oh my god oh my God. <sighs> that's stunning. Then I'm gonna take my uh, definer brush and then this is by Wayne Goss. And I'm gonna go in back into that plummy shade. And I'm gonna go underneath to my lash line. Just gonna do the outer two thirds. Kind of put it tightly under the eye uh, lash line without blending it or anything, just tightly under. And then I'm gonna take the um, pencil brush right here. This is Wayne Goss pencil brush. And I'm gonna go into the shade, that sort of transitional shade that I used. And I'm gonna use that to sort of blend it underneath. I'm gonna try the Natasha Denona uh, micro blade liquid liner. This is one of my new favorites. This liner is just so precise and it's so black. Love it. Um, it's very beginner friendly. I tell you guys, even if you are new to uh, liquid liner and wing liners, I would always ask you, recommend to you to use a brush tip, even though you might think it's more challenging for you. It really isn't, you guys. Uh, if you buy a really beginner-friendly beginner one like this, really not that challenging. So now I'm going to bronze up my face with this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Duo, Cream Duo, in the shade 01 Intensity 1. This isn't something I bought this Sephora VIB sale, but I didn't buy any cream bronzer or anything. Actually, I did. But it still hasn't come yet, believe it or not, because it was one of my last, last minute purchases. I think it's going to come tomorrow. I bought the Mario one, but that hasn't come yet. So that's going to be in my next Sephora try-on video, Sephora haul try-on video. I told you guys I would do a couple of these. So this is just the first one. It's going to be in that video, so I thought I would use one that I bought from the previous Sephora VIB sale, just so I have a, you know... I have a cream bronze to this is kind of like a bronze tour thingy. So I like to kind of shade my jawline to a little bit right there. Kind of chisel it out slightly. Not too sharp, but just, you know, lightly. And then right under the chin. And um, then a little bit on the hairline here. Uh, yeah, that's it. And now I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Compact Powder. So I'm going to use this one because I don't have one that I ordered from this, this haul. So I'm just going to go ahead and set with this one, which I bought from the last haul. I mean, last Sephora VIP sale. Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Highlighting Duo. So this is like a highlighter duo, two highlighters. This is what it looks like. This is in the shade Mood Light. So this one's lighter, that one is darker. Um, I think I could get away with both, honestly. So let me try the this one, the goldish one. I think that, that'll suit me more, the lighter one. But I know for a fact I can get away with the dark one too. I'm gonna try the dark, dark, darker one on my chin, um, not my cheekbones. I'm gonna use the lighter one on the high points of my face. There, like that. Now I'm going to use the dark one right there on my chin. Yep, see, I can get away with it. Yeah, that's a little too much there. <laughs> so I think the lighter one is more appropriate for my skin tone. Okay, so yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
it's really beautiful oh by the way when I did my eyebrows I did it with the benefit precisely my brow eye pencil which I also got from the Sephora VIB sale sale this is my one of my favorite 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 brow pencils very fine tip as you know um, this has like allows me to do like this hairline strokes uh, so well and it comes in many shades okay so now what I've got left Ooh, I forgot to do blush didn't I okay I want to try this with you this is the pillow top beautifying face palette this is the darker version this is such a gorgeous palette by the way I love it now here it is this also has a highlighter in it which I don't need to use of course I'm very interested in you using this dark um, blush and this blush both so let me try the two blushes I'm gonna use the light one on one one side so the peachy one on the one side first and then I'll use the dark one on the other side and see which one works better and then I'm gonna use this darker one on the other side just lightly dust it off really nice very nice beautiful yeah, did you see this side is the dark side, this one's the light side. They both went on beautifully. I went light-handed on the dark one. Let me kind of put it a little bit more heavy-handed and see if it gets really, like, pigmented. Nope, it's actually, you know, it, it looks super dark and pigmented, but when it goes on, you guys, it you can't go wrong with it. It's not going to allow you to go clown, you know, too heavy-handed. It just kind of you know kind of controls it a little bit and even if you feel like if you you did too much then you can take a powder brush and sort of blend it out you know buff it out as we say let me try the the blush topper here um, just a little underneath the highlighter right there you see that now I'm gonna ba balance out my blush color with the darker one because now one side is like Totally darker than the other side. When you do blush, you kind of want to do like a Nike check mark where you go like this. Again, I bought, didn't buy this during this Sephora VIB sale. This was from before, from a, another Sephora VIB sale. I ordered lip liners, Mario lip liners. They're still on the way. Sephora is backed up, you guys. Okay, so I love the Pat McGrath lip liner formula so good next to Chanel lip liners Pat McGrath lip liners are my favorite Tarte Maracuja Juicy Squad lip set if this is what it looks like you guys didn't see this in my haul because this was still on the way when I did both my haul videos and there again I placed like a million orders and I'm still waiting on my last couple of orders I place orders till the last 11th hour of the sale so I definitely want to try these two things right here. So this one is the um, lip plump. I really like their lip plumps. And this one is the lipstick. So the Maracuja Juicy Lipstick. So let me try the lipstick first, okay? So this is like a beautiful kind of mauve color. Let me show you swatch. Okay, let me put it on now. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Perfect. So now I'm going to put, ooh, that's a really nice formula. And this one twists back down, whereas the Juicy Lip Plums and the other ones, they don't twist back down. So these other ones, two are that I won't be using this time around. These are the Juicy Lips. I'm going to use this one. This is the Lip Plump. I'll put it down in the description box, you guys. I can't really see. This is kind of like a mauve color. Per perfect little mauve color for my look today. So I'm going to put that right on the center. Not, you don't want to go with this kind of stuff to the corners of your mouth because it's going to gloop together in the corners of your mouth. You don't want that. Besides, you only want the shine right in the high points of your lips. So that's a nice pro tip. Just put it right in the, on the center of your lips and that's enough. And then you go and then you are good. Oh my god, I love these, how they make my lips look just pouty and juicy, so juicy, you know. It's, oh my god, almost forgot, mascara. Okay, and eyeliner, actually, and a brow bone highlighter, oh boy. 
Okay, okay. We got to do brow bone highlight ASAP. We are going to do uh, brow bone highlight with this last color that we haven't used yet, which is this one right here, the nice bone color. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right on the brow bone right there. I'm going to highlight the inner corners with that same shade. There you go. That's beautiful. Wow. And then we're going to use the mascara. So I got a new one of these Pat McGrath um, Dark Star Mascaras, but I already have two open, so I'm going to just use my open ones, you guys. I'm not going to, you know, try and, like, open another new one when I have these two to finish. So this is one of my favorite go-to mascaras. So this is the final look. Isn't this the most stunning, stunning, stunning eye look ever? Oh, my goodness do you see this oh I went from you know dark circle half dead to glorious goddess in seconds I hope you guys enjoyed trying out these Sephora VIB sale haul products with me and story time I hope you had a laugh from my funny story share with me down in the comment section what kind of shows you're watching these days you know your thoughts on it and what do you think of all the products i tried on um so yeah you guys that's it so share with me down in the comment section the latest shows you're watching what do you think of these products do you want a sephora products trying on haul number two video um, let me know i'll be trying on the pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette or the tom ford the khaki one or i might just skip that because I already tried the creme formula and I might just put it on in my videos after and just tell you guys I'm wearing it today so you can see what it looks like. Um, I also want to try the Natasha Denona My Dream Set coming up in one of the videos. Let me know down in the comment section what you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell right next to it for all notifications so you'll never miss any of my videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will see you guys in my next video.